Hello, people of the internet, it's a me, Combat Wombat. It's happening again. I thought I could stop it, but it was inevitable. Not point four, two point zero. <coughs> no, not the yellow arrows. <coughs> well, you know what I have to do. I have to pointlessly analyze his videos, make fun of how bad they are, make some shitty jokes, and maybe, just maybe, mention Smurf's asses a few times. Let's look at some beautiful videos, shall we? It'll be fun. We all remember the wonderful YouTube community that sprung up when GTA 5 came out. Such wonderful content creators such as Sir Nando, Lispy Jimmy, Mr. Boss for the Win, Zach Cox TV, and of course, not Point Four. Well, some of the people on that list made some very poopy videos. Dragged out content, stretching little things in the game out to be bigger than they were so they could fill up a 10 minute video and spam the videos with ads so they could maximize profits. Remember how Not would spend 10 minutes pretending to try to change cutscenes he knew he couldn't change? I'd rather have a scorpion try to push me into a kiddie pool than watch that shit again. Now, Naughty Boy there has stuck to GTA 5, not moving on to Rockstar's newest game, Red Dead Redemption 2. Guess he's just sticking to what he knows. Most GTA YouTubers have jumped to Red Dead Redemption 2 to squeeze that game for money as well. However, there is a brand new YouTuber who wasn't around during the GTA days who has sprung up and is really trying to be the not point four of Red Dead Redemption 2. Outlaw Gary. Ugh, oh, I hate that guy. They say he fucks blindfolded goats. They say he eats ravioli without opening the can. They say he scares ghosts, then eats them. But, nah. He just clickbaits and makes pointless videos. He really is just not point four two point zero. But why take a wombat who looks like a cat's word for it? Let's take a look. This video looks like it would warm the bones of an albatross. Mystery of Butcher's Creek solved in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm intrigued. You've clickbaited me with your title there. I'm hooked. What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and we are back. You'll notice right off the bat, that's Jobless Garrett. Yep, that's not important to the point of this video, but now you know. At Butcher's Creek. The Butcher's Creek mystery in Red Dead Redemption 2 is one that just keeps surprising me, of course. Really? Because I didn't even know it was a thing, honestly. I expect you to blow my non-existent socks off with this information you have. Go ahead. Blow my socks. Now coming over to Butcher's Creek, this shack right here is one of the most mysterious. Now I'll show you guys at 4 a.m. why this shack in particular is so important. Really? A mysterious shack? Oh, I've got to know about this. You say it happens at 4 a.m.? We'll cut ahead to it being 4 a.m. and show us then, man. But first things first, I want to greet this guy. Now, this, this specific individual plays a huge role into this area. I... Uh... Don't think he does, Gary. I think you're just harassing a poor man who wants to- What the hell is that delinquent doing? Sharpen his peen. Let the man sharpen his peen in peace. You fuck. I swear these damn millennials and their propensity for interrupting a peen sharpening man. If you hang out around this guy long enough, he starts talking about really, really random things. And honestly, let, let me just run you this clip real quick of this crazy encounter I had with a lady that- was running away from butchers just check this out wait what does this random bimbo you're about to show us have to do with this guy oh i sure Whoa. do appreciate this you, you, you won't even know i'm here so for the next two minutes he shows this lady's dialogue to pad out time it's really not important to anything she just says that she ran away from butchers creek and that they're crazy he could have summed that up without showing all of it. Now, as you can tell, that lady said that the people of Butcher's Creek are possessed. Now, this shack plays a huge role into what that lady was talking about. Okay, show us, my man. A lot of the people in Butcher's Creek are very, very odd. They're very odd people. Oh, I see. Gotta set up the idea of the video, give some lore and backstory. That's fine. I, I totally get that, man. My dad is never coming back. Devil take you. Or what he said, devil take ya. I kid you not, this goober here from minute three in the video all the way until eight minutes in walks around talking about how the people in Butcher's Creek are weird, listens to dialogue, and then tries to wall glitch into empty houses that Rockstar didn't bother adding anything to. What does any of that have to do with the mystery and it being solved like the clickbait title suggests? Deadly dick. It has nothing to do with it. It's just padding out time so we can hit ten minutes and spam five ads. 
That's it. So, we're eight minutes in and we watch him get absolutely oofed by a goat creature, obviously vengeful towards him for the crimes he's committed to their kind. They say he fucks blindfolded goats. In Red Dead Redemption 2, and these freaking goats, bro. I swear, I'm gonna kill them all one day. This house definitely plays a huge role into the creepiness of Butcher's Creek. So you keep saying, since the start of the video, strange that you're just now coming back to it. Eight minutes in. Three, two, one, now! Ta-da! Congrats, you're 40 seconds away from being able to place extra ads. You win, Gary. At 3.59 exactly, that thing appears. I don't know why. I don't know why that happens, and no one knows why just yet. What? Bitch! You said in the title this mystery is solved. You've got less than two minutes to solve this mystery, or this is a poop clickbait video. Nothing happened. I thought, like, maybe I have to die here, and then I'll sacrifice my body. No. Didn't work. Did literally, literally nothing just happened. I just died. That's... That's the extent of what just happened. Yeah, I know, Gary. You're fully aware that you've hit 10 minutes. I can almost hear the egg timer in the background going off letting you know, you fiend. Regardless, as you guys know, the Butcher's Creek mystery is not solved yet. And I need your help. Fellow gamers, I need your help. Outlaw Gary needs your help to save Butcher's Creek and figure out the mystery at hand, as there's a lot more to understand. Eat an entire bowl of refried oyster titties, you homunculus fuck. You said in the title that you solved the mystery. Solved. You clickbaited me. Hmm, clickbaiting, wasting time, rambling, letting dialogue encounters play to pad out your video length because you have no content. Just like another YouTuber I know. Oh, by the way, he did a video on that Butcher's Creek mystery before. So that's good. Rehashing old stuff, I see. Alright, so that video made me never want to eat at Red Lobster again. But he has to have some purpose in another video, right? Let's see here. Ooh! Secret Braithwaite ending in Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 Easter egg. A secret ending? Well, sign me up, buckaroo. So many of you guys hit me up and said, Garrett, you have to see what the Braithwaite secret girl does when you bring the Braithwaite daughter to her. Oh no. Throw a gopher at my ass. He's doing the same thing Not does where he wastes 10 minutes trying to change a cutscene or dialogue by just bringing a character somewhere. This ought to be good. So he rambles until 2 minutes and 45 seconds in, then plays an entire cutscene. Not once during this cutscene is the girl that's locked in the outhouse mentioned. Not once. So why show it? To pad out the video. That's why. So as you guys heard, she's heading up to Boston. Now she's trying to get away from her family and is escaping from the weirdness that happens in the Braithwaite household. Yeah, and we all got that from the cutscene. This doesn't seem important to the outhouse girl at all. I don't even know what to call her, but let's just call her outhouse girl. The outhouse girl, of course, rambles and rambles and she goes on all about her story. Okay, he's explaining the outhouse girl to us now. And yeah, that's cool to find out about if you didn't know about her, but I get the feeling this secret ending he titled the video with isn't real. He's probably going to screw around and waste our time, because I know these types of channels. They're my favorite types of channels, which are most common in Rockstar games for some reason. The clickbait pointless videos that only serve to make you watch advertisements. I don't even see the entertainment value. It's like when I watched Not walk around for 10 minutes in the sewer in GTA 5. He knew he wasn't going to find anything, but the thumbnail and the title sure made it seem like he did. But nope, just a metric ass ton of ads and rambling. For me. Can we go? Okay. Look at that. She isn't saying seeing her cousin locked up in an outhouse is painful, Gary, you sly dog. She's just initiating her dialogue for the trip you're about to go on. You limp biscuit. And today he will. What about well, this? Is there explain we, explain we this. She isn't going to explain anything. Her dialogue isn't going to change because you took her somewhere. You know this. Seen him since the rally. They watched me if you haven't caught on yet, he's yet again playing dialogue to waste time. He seems to do this a lot when given the chance. Uh huh. Maybe she isn't. This is it right I'll here, boys. Hand from Boston for her. Sure you will. God damn. So she wants. So she's known for a long time that uh, this girl is here, and uh, 
So you played the entire dialogue, all of it, just to hear the ending part where she mentions the outhouse girl. I still don't think we're getting a secret Braithwaite ending, Gary. Did you lie to us? That's my poor cousin. There's no help in her. Believe me, I've tried. Wow, this is her cousin. This is her sister. Okay, so here's why I fucking love Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar actually did put dialogue for if you bring her to the outhouse. She actually does mention it. Great attention to detail. I still don't see the point of this video, though. So we're five minutes in. The next two minutes of the video, he dicks around with the outhouse easter egg, he explains some stuff about it, speculates, and big surprise, nothing else happens with it. No new dialogue or anything. Then, at about seven minutes in, he rides to the burnt-down Braithwaite home and is shocked that she has nothing to say about it. Probably because Rockstar didn't think to add that. And that's the video. That's it. Seven minutes in, it's done. You may be wondering, wait, he hasn't hit ten minutes yet. He can't spam ads. No way the video's over. Well, right you are, you bright little leprechaun you. Feast upon these lucky charms because this bitch plays through the entire rest of this mission of riding this girl to the train station, the shootout with the guys chasing the train, the entire thing. Even playing the cutscene at the end, just to pad the video out to 10 minutes. And looky here, there's his five ads if you include the one at the beginning of the video. Regardless, let me know in the comment section, does she save her? When she goes to Boston. Up to you guys, let me know in the comment section. You are the embodiment of the devil's anus made manifest. All this video was, was you playing some dialogue, riding around rambling, and then playing a mission. There was no secret ending. You clickbaited. Enjoy the Taco Bell money from me watching your ads, you jerk. Okay, Outlaw Gary, my main bitch. You have one more chance to actually do something in a video. If the next video is a pointless excuse to put ads in front of me, I'm not feeding my cat for an hour. My cat will not get any food for an entire hour, and it will be your fault. Let's take a look at Secret Gorilla Mystery in Red Dead Redemption 2, RDR2 Easter Eggs. I like gorillas, I like mysteries, so this ought to blow my socks off. Right outside of Strawberry, you'll be met with a very, very interesting encounter. Less of an encounter and more of an Easter egg, but okay, let's see it. And lo and behold, you find a gorilla. Well, the gorilla part isn't clickbait. He found one. But is it really a mystery? Doubt it. So I'm going to speed this part of his video up just to illustrate how much time he wastes on this gorilla to pad out the video. I'm not really sure what is going on here, but I have a pretty good understanding of what has happened. As you guys can see, this is a gorilla, but it's not a real gorilla. Does that make sense? It's no longer alive, you can't interact with it. It actually has no eyes either, it looks like, which is super weird. And because of this game, you can't even like look at stuff this close. But the gorilla just doesn't have eyes, and it's just not a, not a real thing. If you get closer, let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Okay, something for sure just happened. We just shot off its arm. Yeah, listen, I, I went this not expecting uh, to be able to shoot off its arm, but that's okay. Well, if we can shoot off its arm. Oh my god, is it lit? Okay, let's just, let's just stand back and throw it over there. Oh my god, oh my freaking god, this is a thing. This is a legit thing. We just blew up a gorilla. No freaking way. Holy. Now, maybe you guys don't care what is going on. Well, this looks like a statue, a filled statue. This is weird. Okay, there's two things that this can be. I'm, I'm leaning towards one other than the other because of uh, the, the special house nearby. Now, my friends talk about Henry's picture about the taxidermy house in Red Dead Online. I've known about the taxidermy house for a long time because I actually have a really cool picture on my desktop. I'm still taking a picture of the squirrel statue. Now, if you guys know what I'm talking about, I can be about the future. But this specific uh, crate looks like it was going to a specific house nearby. I started that speed up at 58 seconds in. Now, at 2 minutes and 54 seconds in, he finally gets to the point of the video. Kinda. Now, this specific house that we're talking about is right outside of Strawberry called the Taxidermist House. So, he says that he believes this gorilla was made by the Taxidermist from the Taxidermist's house. He then spends a minute explaining what a Taxidermist is. Now, if you don't know what a Taxidermist is, if you're uh, younger and you just don't know what that is, or maybe you just don't know what it is in general and you're, and you're of older age, it's someone that takes animals and fills them so you can have them as trophies. And then, guess what? You already know. He shows the entire ride to the Taxidermist's house. That eats up another two minutes of the video's time, so that's good. He then does a glitch and gets inside the house. The glitch takes about a minute. We're now six minutes in, and he's just now getting to the main point of the video. Yeah. So, inside here, we're going to solve the mystery whether or not this gorilla is supposed to be here. Now, if you look around, you'll see a lot of taxidermy things, because this is the taxidermist house. What? For real? I thought you would see a ton of anime posters all over the place. No shit, Gary, you fucknut. There has to be some clues. Something that links the gorilla to this house. You hear that? Well, forget you did. That's the last time you'll hear about the gorilla because he never comes back to the idea. 
The rest of the video, he walks around and talks about things he's seeing. That's it. What's in the basement? Oh, whoa, this is creepy. Wait, what the heck? Um... <laughs> Um, what the heck is going on here, dudes? Yeah, he's already been here. These reactions are a bit overblown, you see. Well, he's at 7 minutes and 44 seconds in. I'll give you three guesses as to what he does to hit 10 minutes. Does he A. Walk around and ramble B. Walk around and ramble Or C. Find something related to the gorilla mystery If you picked C... You're wrong. Then, finally, at 8 minutes and 25 seconds, he briefly mentions the damn gorilla again. And it is the biggest slap to my cheeks since the time my dentist told me I'd never be able to give fellatio to my plants again. Like, I'm, I'm pretty certain that the gorilla might have not been created here. Bitch! There is no gorilla mystery! It was a random easter egg put there by Rockstar. You found nothing but the easter egg and made a video acting like you were trying to find something. You cheeky turd. Well, he rambles some more and guess what? He can't hit 10 minutes. Yep, for once, he realizes that he doesn't have enough content to stretch the video to 10 minutes for more ad revenue, so he stops the video at 9 minutes in. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of Outlaw Gary here. Normally I accuse YouTubers like him for barely going over 10 minutes and stretching like 4 minutes of video out so he can spam ads and make some more money, but he didn't. I mean, the video is still pointless and he did nothing, but hey man, at least he only made the video long enough for what content he had to show. Good job, man. I'm fucking with you. He plopped his outro in for 20 seconds and got the video barely to 10 minutes at 10 minutes and 2 seconds, 5 advertisements. Well, I give up. You showed an easter egg of a random stuffed gorilla, shot it for a few minutes, rambled about your left ass cheek, and then rode over to a house and showed us the entire trip, showed us the entire process of glitching into the house, then walked around and looked at stuff. What was the point of this video? This isn't content. This video should have been five minutes at most. Now, I know, I know, I get a lot of comments saying, why do you care, man? If you don't like it, don't watch it. You're just a hater. Look. First of all, I don't watch it on a regular basis, alright? I only watch these videos to get footage from my video, okay? And secondly, I don't really care that much. I mean, this guy can make whatever content he wants to make. I don't dislike him or anything, but I entertain you guys by taking a dump on poopy videos and poking fun at them. That's the entire point. The criticisms are legitimate. I mean, he makes poop videos. But the insults and me being all up in arms over it, all a meme. Not real. I could give less of a shit if this guy stretches pointless videos to 10 minutes and makes money off of it. But I'm sure as hell going to playfully criticize him for it, because it's fun. That's going to be it for this video. Outlaw Gary. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Run along and make some real content. But this town is big enough for the Patreon sponsors that keep this channel going. A huge thank you to sexy Patreon sponsors Charles, Childish Romello, Cromoa, Christopher Wallace, Damon Bogton, Enzi Galicia, Jack Trochu, Jacob E. Shoemake, James Little, Joel McKay, Jordan Reese, J.P. Stone, Juan Lasnamio, Kyle Hull, Martin Productions, Michael Matthews, Pinkham in a Pie, Ryan Gallagher, Sloppy Windchime, Shelby, and Spikey, and everyone else who supports the channel this way. You people keep me from throwing a cactus at my ceiling fan. Wombat.